Hi, I'm here to talk about simulation-based learning in the pharmacy curriculum. And one of the new things that we've done this year is we took our acute care simulation course and we've made the majority of the content to be online learning so that the students can come to class three hours a week and just experience simulated patients so they can learn in an environment where it's safe and where they can actually make mistakes and we can help as instructors. Because it's largely simulation based, it really provides the opportunity to develop skills in, a, in the type of setting that you really don't get to see in the classroom on a regular basis. In the simulation setting, you really have to gather information, identify a problem, and then make a recommendation all within a matter of minutes, very much like you would expect to do in clinical practice. So dobutamine is just stimulating the beta receptors causing the heart to beat. So. In him, it's not a great thing because he's in AFib and he's tachycardic. It's not something you can just get in a classroom listening to a, a lecture. Uh, you really miss out on sort of seeing how things work in the real world, real world setting. So I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to get students uh, the chance to see how practice really works and see if they can work in an environment like that. So it's taken basically all the education and learning that we've done throughout the three years of pharmacy school and incorporates it into a real life setting. So not only do I get to practice what I've already learned, but then I also gain new skills as I practice in like a real life patient care setting. I think having this simulation experience is going to put me a step ahead whenever I actually get into those real life situations interacting with physicians, with nurses, with other pharmacists. I'm going to be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident with my ability and I really would uh, attribute that and credit that largely to the experience in this course.